I'm going to show you how to make martinis with Dynamics GP. It's really quite easy to do. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to use the manufacturing module within GP to make my martinis. And I really only need a few things. One thing I need is a bill of material, and then I need a router for that bill of material to be included in the manufacturing order. So let's take a look at my bill of materials. Here's my bill of material for my martini. And a bill of material is very quite, really quite simple. I've got a finished good item up here, and then I've got all the components down here. For this particular bill of material, it's going to be a back flush item, which means when I pull this out of manufacturing, it's going to back flush the quantities for all the component items from my raw materials inventory. Let's take a look at the components. Here's one component. For each component, I specify the quantity and the unit of measure. The system will automatically pull in the current cost of that item and extend that cost here. And you can see I've got each component separately listed. I can change the position that the components show up in the bill of material if I wish. So that's the bill of material, really quite simple. The second piece I need is a router. And a router is a series of steps that I'm going to use to create my finished good. In this case, I've got a very simple router. It has one sequence in it. You can see I've got a work center si set up here to shake that martini. I have also have a cycle time and some labor associated with making that martini. All you need for a router is at least one step, though you can have as many steps as you want to. It's really easy to make it quite easy or make it complex if you wish. The final step is to take the bill of material and the router and put it together in a manufacturing order. So let's do that right now. I'm going to look up my finished good item. And I'm going to use the basic router that we just looked at. I'm going to open up a manufacturing order, specify the quantity. I'll make two, one for you and one for me. I'm going to create a start date here for my manufacturing order. And then I'm going to schedule that manufacturing order. And when it does that, it's going to schedule the manufacturing order within the system. It's also going to create a pick list. Let's take a quick look at that pick list. And a pick list is just a list of all the items that are going to be used to make that standard finished good item. Let's go back to the manufacturing order. I'm going to release that order. And now it's in the system. It's allocated all the raw materials for that particular manufacturing order. And I'm going to save that. And then the final step is to create a manufacturing order receipt, which is taking that order out of manufacturing and putting it into my finished goods inventory. So let's do that right now. Let's look up the manufacturing order. It's right here. It's been released. Let's select that. And when I do that, you can see that my finished good quantity here is going to be 2. Right here, I've got listed all my component items and the quantities that are going to be used in this manufacturing process. Now, at this point in time, if I chose to add additional components, I could do that right now. I could change the quantities of these back flushed items as well. But I'm going to leave it as it is, and I'm going to hit Post. And when I hit Post, it's going to create a finished good item. It's going to relieve all the component items, and I'll be done with my manufacturing order. So I'm done now, and let's take a look at the finished product. Here's the martini. Now, I'm not going to use GP to make martinis, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to use the manufacturing functionality within GP to create finished goods, to relieve component items, and to really control and manage your manufacturing process.